everybody. This week I am so, so excited because we are going to be making a unicorn cake and she's really pretty. My name is Lori and you're watching The Icing Artist. To make this cake, I baked a half sphere vanilla cake. I crumb coated it using my buttercream icing, smoothed that out with my offset spatula and then just finished smoothing it using a piece of paper towel. Of course, for all the recipes, I will leave links down below. I lightly spritzed it with some water just so that way my fondant would stick to it and then kind of patted off the excess water using a piece of paper towel. I rolled out my white fondant onto my surface using some icing sugar so that way it wouldn't stick. I then rolled my fondant back over my rolling pin and then back over my cake. I basically used my hands to really smooth it out. That's the nice thing about sphere cakes, you can use your hands to smooth them out almost perfectly. I then used my fondant smoother just to kind of tightly tuck in that bottom edge by pressing down really firmly onto my cake board. I then trimmed off all the extra fondant. The first thing that we're going to be making for our pretty unicorn is going to be our unicorn snout. I did this out of white fondant and just kind of molded it with my hands. I then used my gum paste veining tool just to kind of put two little nose holes and a cute little smile on the side. Now on a cake like this, the eyes are everything. This is a beautiful unicorn, so the eyes have to be big and beautiful. So I cut out circles out of white, blue, and black fondant in different sizes. I then stretched my circles using my fingertips just into almost an oval shape. I layered those up using some water to glue them together, making sure they're pointing kind of off to the side. And I added two specks of white fondant, one big and one small. I of course need to add some really pretty eyelashes, so I did that out of black fondant, kind of adding them onto the side of the eye. I then rolled out some black fondant into a really thin worm, and then wrapped that going all the way around the eye to kind of add to the eyelashes. Wet it with some water and gently place that onto my cake. And notice how the eyes are kind of looking upwards. I find that always makes the animals look so much cuter. Have you guys subscribed to my channel yet? Because if you guys haven't, you guys should probably hit that subscribe button because I put out new videos every single week. I want to shout out to everybody who has already subscribed. Thank you guys so much. Now for the unicorn's feet. I rolled out my fondant into almost a thick log and then tapered off the one end and wrapped those around the cake. For her feet, I cut out some small little pink hearts and then glued those to the bottom. I love this little detail. I thought it was really cute. Now it's time to make our unicorn horn, which is kind of the most important part of this cake. Otherwise, it's just like a regular animal. I rolled out two logs of white fondant, again tapering off the one end, making sure it went down to a sharp point. I then took the two pieces of fondant and kind of twisted them together into a cute little horn and cut off the end. I inserted a wooden skewer into the horn so that way it would hold up the weight once it was inserted into the cake kind of an important step because you don't really want your horn to like fall over. To make this horn extra special I painted it with some edible pearl paint which looks so beautiful. I think it really added to the horn and to top it off as if the pearl paint wasn't enough I added some edible shimmer dust which really just made everything sparkle. I love the way this came out. And of course if you guys are interested in any of the tools that I'm using in this video as well of all of my recipes I will leave links in the description box below for you. For the ears, I simply cut out two triangles of white fondant and pinched the one end and cut off the excess and glued that onto the cake. Pretty simple. Now the last step happens to be my favorite step, creating that rainbow mane that goes all the way down the cake. I did this using a number 10 piping tip, just making like little squiggly lines, alternating colors, kind of layering them up, making sure I did a cute little bang going in front of her face, overlapping the different colors and kind of going down and flowing to the back of the cake. And of course, lastly, you need to add a little rainbow tail. If you want, you can finish the cake off with some more shimmer dust. I mean, what unicorn can't have enough sparkle on it? And that's it. You are done. I am thrilled with how this cake came out. I really love how all the details kind of came together. And if you guys liked it too, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can do that by either clicking below or by clicking this awkwardly floating head that's kind of right here. If you guys want to see some more videos that I've come up with, you guys can check them out over here. And hopefully I will see you guys all again next week. Bye guys.